AVACAD is a powerful and convenient drawing tool specifically created for the creation of architectural opening elevations. A central component of the AVA project detailing and estimating system, AVACAD allows users with little or no CAD experience to create high quality elevation drawings using a palette of intelligent tools. Rather than creating simple line drawings, as one would with traditional CAD package, AVACAD users build elevations with opening components. The stick tool, for example, is used to represent frame stick components. It's not necessary to differentiate between jams and mullions. AVACAD is able to make that determination automatically based on the context. When a three-sided frame is drawn, AVACAD presumes the material to consist of cased open jams since there is no door in the frame. With a single click, a door can be added that both sizes itself to the frame and results in the stick components being updated to reflect the door placement and swing. In fact, nearly all frame components such as mullions, filler pieces, glazing bead, and others are automatically positioned as required. In addition to the countless variety of common elevations that can be created, AVACAD also provides the tools necessary for users to create many more specialized and less common elevation types. In most openings, doors and side lights are contained within frames composed of stick material. The size and shape of these components is determined by the frame in which they are placed. However, there are many applications in which this is simply not the case. Saloon doors are double acting door pairs that are cut well below the top and above the bottom of the frame that holds them. There is generally a large gap between the top of the doors and frame header, when there is a header at all. In order to create the boundaries for the door pair in AVACAD, simply draw two horizontal sticks and set their facing to zero. This will create bounding lines without assigning any actual material. The door pair can then be inserted as usual. The zero-faced mullions also provide dimensional nodes that can be used to add dimensions above, below, and on the doors themselves. The same technique using zero-faced horizontal mullions can be used in a variety of other applications. Wicket openings often consist of three or four-sided frames and a piece of glass that fills only a part of the opening. A space is usually left between the bottom of the glass and bottom of the frame in order to allow documents to be passed back and forth. Once again, this type of opening can be created in AVACAD by drawing a stick to frame the bottom of the glass and setting its face to zero. When the material list for this type of elevation is generated, AVACAD determines that no glazing material is required for the bottom edge of the glass. In many commercial environments, doors with overhead transoms are commonly specified in openings with no mullion dividing the two. This is most often the case when using glass doors and transoms to create a continuous view between them, or with fixed panels matching a solid door beneath. This type of elevation is created exactly as one would create a typical transom frame with a horizontal mullion. In order to retain the separation between the door and glass, without a mullion, simply set its face to zero. Perhaps the most common application for zero-faced mullions is the multi-door opening. Entrance ways are often designed using multiple glass doors and side lights with no mullions separating them. Doors are operated using pivots, and glass side lights are affixed to the header and directly to the floor. Once again, creating this type of opening elevation is simply a matter of drawing sticks to separate the single doors, door pairs, and side lights, then setting their facing to zero. Dimensional nodes are again provided at each separation point to facilitate dimensioning all or part of the opening width. 